Hi, and welcome to the product review. My name is Andrew Yap, Head of Multi-Asset and Australian Fixed Income at Zenith Investment Partners. Today we'll be discussing annuities as specifically challenges lifetime annuity, liquid lifetime. As Australia's demographic ages and mortality rates continue to rise, a key concern facing many is, will my retirement income last as long as I do? This concern is further compounded by factors such as inflation, volatile equity markets, taxation, and the desire to support others through estate planning. To help investors achieve their financial goals, Challenger has developed a range of annuity products and is a leader in the retirement space. One such product is the Challenger Liquid Lifetime Annuity, also referred to Liquid Lifetime. And to help us understand this product better, today we are joined by Andrew Lowe, Head of Technical Services. Hello, Andrew, and welcome to the product review. Thanks, Andrew. Good to be with you. Challenger offers a range of guaranteed lifetime income products to market. These products have evolved in recent years to meet the needs of Australian retirees. What does guaranteed lifetime income as a client solution look like today? I think it's absolutely true that guaranteed lifetime income has evolved. Uh, and I'd go back to the introduction of the innovative superannuation income stream rules back in 2017. And that really gave us the platform for the development uh, of lifetime income stream products. Um, Innovative superannuation income streams gave us the ability to defer the commencement of payments. So brought to us deferred lifetime annuities. Uh, and certainly there are some really interesting applications of that type of product. It also gave us the ability to uh, link payments to something other than something like the consumer price index with the development of market linked lifetime income streams. And in that particular space, a lot of development has occurred over that period of time. Um, if I go to the core proposition of guaranteed lifetime income today, that core proposition is income that lasts for life, for as long as a client lives, irrespective of how, how long that is. Um, then I get into some of the options that are available on something like liquid top lifetime with the ability to link payments to CPI, to have flat payments, to have payments linked to the RBA cash rate, or to have market linked payments. So a range of different payment options uh, that are available. The availability of uh, a long death benefit and withdrawal period uh, if, if, uh, in, if, if a client's interested in that flexibility. Uh, and then most importantly, the ability uh, for an advisor to be able to craft uh, retirement income solutions that are appropriate for, for their clients to help clients uh, with lifetime income, protect against the risks that they're exposed to in, in retirement, uh, an income stream that interacts uh, with other defensive assets within uh, the portfolio or in fact matches the risk profile of a client in terms of a market linked option. So, you know, for me, significant flexibility available to advisors with lifetime income streams today. Challenger offers a guaranteed lifetime annuity with a range of indexation options. How does Challenger's guaranteed lifetime annuity help investors meet their retirement objectives? The core proposition uh, of lifetime annuity is the availability of payments that last for life. And so that irrespective of the client's chosen indexation option is the core proposition. Payments that will last as long as a client uh, and any nominated reversion lives. Uh, and that can help clients that are concerned uh, about this prospect of running out of income through the course uh, of their retirement. Uh, second to that, we, we have a range of indexation options and they start with uh, our CPI linked uh, lifetime uh, annuity. Uh, and for many Australians who are retiring without uh, any income that's otherwise linked uh, to, to the cost of living, uh, a, an allocation towards a CPI linked lifetime annuity can ensure uh, a client has uh, a level of income uh, linked to inflation to help protect against the cost of living uh, through what will hopefully be a long retirement that they have uh, uh, ahead of them. Uh, and then uh, in terms of the development of product uh, in this particular space, the launch uh, of market linked options, uh, for lifetime income stream, a really exciting proposition uh, where clients can get the full benefit of income that lasts for life, uh, but the ability to link those payments rather than uh, have them level or linked to inflation, to have them linked to changes in investment markets over time. Uh, and that can certainly appeal to, to, to some clients as well. And I think, you know, for me, it's the combination of income streams in retirement that are really important. What we can do with these types of income streams, how they blend together the total portfolio outcomes that they generate for clients uh, in, in these circumstances, how they can increase income for clients, how they can increase the certainty of a client's achieving their income goals in retirement, how they can improve uh, portfolio and estate outcomes and ultimately protect against the risks that Australian retirees are exposed to. 
How does a guaranteed lifetime income stream blend with other sources of income to help investors solve for their retirement objectives? I think it's the combination of income streams that's really interesting in terms of the outcomes that it, uh, that combination can deliver for clients. And I want to highlight for me, uh, when modeling out retirement income streams, a combination of income streams, and if I'm talking an account-based income stream and a lifetime income stream, can very frequently generate better total outcomes for clients than either an account-based pension or a lifetime income stream in isolation. And some of those benefits that we can improve in, uh, include lifetime income. We could improve uh, the total amount of lifetime income paid uh, to a client through a combination of income streams in retirement. We could uh, improve the certainty of a client meeting their income goals through the course of their retirement as well. We could improve a state uh, and portfolio outcomes in terms of uh, accessible assets to a client, uh, either while a client's alive or on their death in, uh, for, for, for testamentary benefits uh, at, at that particular point in time. And, and really clearly, we can also specifically address uh, some of the risks that clients are exposed to uh, uh, through the course of their retirement, not just longevity risk. We, we have the ability with this combination of income streams to help Australian retirees solve uh, for all of those risks uh, uh, in, in retirement. Could you share an example of a typical client investing in guaranteed lifetime income and demonstrate the benefits that such an allocation might bring? I, I think I might go non-typical, in fact, for, for, for this uh, example, because you know, for, for me, uh, I think there are different types of application of lifetime income. So, and this, I think, sets up an interesting uh, example. So we had a client uh, of an advisor recently uh, with significant means. That client had about $3.8 million worth of super between a couple. Um, they had about $200,000 worth of other assets, uh, 100 grand worth of non-financial assets into the mix. Um, and in, in terms of their goals, wanted to spend well, wanted to spend comfortably, uh, wanted to spend confidently through the course of what would hopefully be a long retirement. Uh, and so the analysis for this particular client started out with what I might refer to as a uh, safe withdrawal type uh, analysis. We started out with a 4% withdrawal off the financial assets that these clients had available at them. That gives us about $160,000 per annum spend off that level of assets with a relatively high level of confidence that we can spend that through a long retirement. Uh, and so first cut looked good. Um, client wanted more. And that for me is, a, is, a, is, a, is an interesting challenge. Um, I often have advisors say to me, Andrew, clients with significant means aren't exposed to longevity risk. This was a client potentially exposed to longevity risk because they wanted to spend more uh, 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 than just a modest level of income through uh, their, their retirement. And so what we did, uh, play, playing around with some modeling with the advisor uh, and landed a higher level of drawdowns in retirement. In fact, with a still high level of confidence of spending $195,000 per annum index by inflation spend, uh, through an account-based income stream looked like a, a relatively still safe level of, of spending for, for this particular client couple. And this is where it got interesting, the opportunity to optimize this sort of outcome. The, the question ultimately was, could we do better uh, for these particular clients? And so I played around with allocations to different types uh, of lifetime annuity, 10% um, into a CPI-linked lifetime annuity, played around with a deferred lifetime annuity, ultimately landed on uh, a, a higher allocation, a 20% allocation, into an immediate uh, CPI-linked lifetime annuity for these particular clients. And this is the com this combination of income streams uh, actually generated some pretty significant benefits, improved the chances of these clients spending out to life expectancy. In fact, when we run the projections, uh, we project that they'll have income that lasts for an extra three years at a high level of spending uh, through the, the, the course of their retirement. So, you know, increased longevity uh, of income streams. Second uh, benefit was... Uh, effectively uh, increased certainty uh, of meeting the, the, those income goals. Uh, and, and for me, you know, that was a, um, a, a, a really significant benefit. Um, we created a, a fallback position for these clients in the event that markets didn't turn out uh, as, as we'd modeled through uh, the course of their retirement um, that actually gave these clients significant confidence uh, in retirement. The income from the lifetime annuities plus any age pension that they were eventually eligible for, if any, late, late in life, um, gave them sufficient income to meet the ASFA comfortable retirement standard for as long uh, as, as they lived as well. So really interesting uh, uh, fallback position uh, for these clients. And, and the, the final piece for, for these particular clients 
uh, was the improved uh, portfolio and estate outcomes. And if I tested at one point, I'll get a couple life expectancy for these particular clients provided uh, an increased estate benefit of more than $300,000 in today's dollars uh, as a combination of, 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 of benefits for these particular clients. So you know, that sort of scenario, I hope, demonstrates the types of benefits uh, that different types of clients might you know, might, might derive from a, a combination of both account-based and lifetime income streams through the course of their retirement. There has been plenty of product development in the guaranteed lifetime income space over time. How do you think advisors might evaluate different GLI products and their appropriateness for different clients? I would absolutely agree. There have been plenty of product development and sometimes comparing lifetime income streams can be difficult. Um, and so what I'd say is there's probably a few key questions that you might want to ask when comparing lifetime income streams and determining suitability of a lifetime income stream uh, for client A or client B uh, in, in different circumstances. Um, I'd start out with this idea of the starting payment. So we're on the same page. What's the starting payment out of uh, a, a product? Um, how do we calculate it? Uh, how long is it uh, guaranteed for in, in, in that particular case? Uh, and, and then ultimately uh, making sure that I'm comparing like with like uh, across two different product sets. Um, the second element for me is how product uh, payments change over time. Uh, and there are significant differences between products in, in market. At their simplest, you'll have fixed payments through the course of client's lifetime. Uh, perhaps a, you know, a, a next step from that would be a payment that's uh, fully or partly linked to changes in the consumer price index, but still easy to understand uh, in, in that. Changes are uh, uh, linked to uh, the cash rate available in this particular space. And then, as we've discussed, uh, in terms of evolution of this product set, uh, the availability of products uh, that link payments to changes in investment markets. Uh, and so we've got you know, products that are linked to a single investment option all the way through to perhaps hundreds of investment options in the product set space. Uh, we have a market linked option with a, uh, a range of five indexation options. Uh, but, you know, comparing like with like, I think is really important consideration in this product set. Um, also in terms of determining change in payments over time, I'd highlight um, the availability of things like hurdle rates in, in terms of uh, uh, indexation options, uh, and that effectively allows payments to offer higher uh, products to offer higher payments to clients early in retirement. So really important benefit. Lots of clients uh, would pr prioritize spending er early in retirement. So the ability to bring forward payments uh, at, at the expense of future increases in payments are uh, a really interesting uh, uh, opportunity for, for, for clients, but make sure that we're comparing uh, like with like in, in terms of those uh, the, those options. Um, I then go to the idea. Next question for me would be, what if anything's guaranteed? Um, and you know, the, the the product offer documents will will be clear about the the, the guarantees that are uh, are made available. Guarantees can be really important uh, in, in terms of uh, certainty of outcomes uh, for clients through the course uh, of their retirement. What are the fees that are payable uh, in respect of the product, if any? Uh, and ultimately, I would highlight that if uh, payments are reduced by uh, fees versus not, you know, that could make a significant difference. The total income uh, that's paid over a client's uh, income uh, over their lifetime in retirement. And then finally, uh, I'd, I'd go to this idea of whether or not uh, a product features a death or a withdrawal benefit. Um, won't be important to some clients, but will be very important to, to, to other clients. And so making sure that the product has an appropriate death and withdrawal benefit that suits the individual client's needs, I think would be the final element that I'd mix into that. And then ultimately that combination uh, of, of questions will determine you know, what lifetime income stream will suit what particular client. When building out retirement strategies for their clients, how have you seen advisors utilize guaranteed lifetime income? I see advisors use guaranteed lifetime income in a lot of different ways. Uh, and I think that's really exciting. It, it for me, represents uh, a, a strategy that can be uniquely crafted to the individual needs of a client. But I also see uh, uh, advisors and licensees building out frameworks for advice that absolutely feature uh, uh, allocations into uh, guaranteed lifetime income products for the benefits that it brings their clients. I'll give you a couple of examples. I've seen it. Uh, a, a case recently where a, a licensee has built out a retirement income framework that seeks to solve for the ASFA 
modest retirement standard. It's a fallback position for all of their clients in retirement and does that quite simply. Uh, a modest allocation of the average client's retirement savings into uh, a lifetime income stream product can ensure uh, that irrespective of how long a client lives, that client will always be able to maintain a level of spending equal to the ASPA modest retirement standard. So a, a, a base level of income over and above the maximum rate of age pension, and that can be really reassuring to a whole lot uh, of Australian retirees. That doesn't remove uh, the ability for an advisor with the vast majority of a client's assets in that sort of circumstance to build out a strategy that helps solve a client for their aspirational needs in, in retirement uh, as well. I'd add to that then that we see other licensees solving for that same challenge in different ways. Uh, we see clients, uh, advisors and licensees building out strategies that are based on this idea of improving the chances of a client meeting their income goals. So how can I directly increase the chances uh, of a client meeting a total income spend in retirement, for example, and we look at different allocations into lifetime income streams to help improve the certainty uh, of those outcomes. So this idea uh, of a framework, I think, is a really useful uh, uh, position for advisors to build into uh, their, their practice or for licensees to build more broadly into uh, licensee frameworks uh, for the provision of retirement uh, in income advice. For me, what can that do? That can really help address uh, the risks that clients are exposed to. Uh, through the through the course of their retirement, uh, go back to those key objectives of maximising income, of increasing the certainty uh, of income goals in retirement, protecting against uh, risks in retirement, and ultimately improving um, portfolio and estate outcomes for for, for those clients. Um, final piece that I'd add to that would be uh, where I see advisors using guaranteed lifetime income stream is, uh, streams is asking the right questions uh, uh, of their clients uh, and really digging into preferences for the characteristics uh, of income in retirement. Increasingly, we're seeing advised clients today retiring without any CPI linked lifetime income stream uh, available to them at all. Um, you know, a self-funded retiree, not eligible for the age pension, um, perhaps uh, not eligible for a defined benefit type income stream. So the ability to build out an income stream that features guaranteed lifetime income stream can uh, lifetime income can be a really important uh, component uh, for, for, for advice in those circumstances. So Asking the right questions about client preferences, I think, can be an interesting additional element to, uh, to, to, to addressing that particular demand as well. If an advisor was going to use a guaranteed lifetime income product as part of their advice for a client, why would they recommend a Challenger GLI product? I think an advisor would use a Challenger uh, guaranteed lifetime annuity for a whole lot of reasons. And I'd start with this idea of uh, the benefits that a lifetime annuity would bring uh, for their clients. Uh, we've talked today about the uh, the way that a combination of a lifetime annuity with other income streams could help solve for for, for client objectives, could help improve uh, retirement income outcomes. More income uh, over over a client's lifetime uh, uh, address the risks that clients are exposed to through retirement, give increased certainty of spending through through retirement, ultimately improve uh, uh, estate and portfolio outcomes for for their clients. Um, but particularly why Challenger, um, uh, our commitment to uh, the retirement income space uh, has seen us build products uh, that meet specific client and advisor demands. Um, we've seen significant product development in this space. There's more to come in terms of development uh, in, in this space as well. Uh, our commitment to client advisor service, um, the availability on the ground uh, of our Challenger business development team uh, the availability of the Challenger technical team to help with um, these types of uh, technical applications of lifetime income streams. Um, for me, uh, I have mentioned that the Challenger business development team represents uh, the first port of call uh, for advisors. Uh, and if you have any questions in relation to the, the ideas that we've spoken about today in terms of applying these to specific client circumstances, please don't hesitate to reach out to your business development manager and we can talk how uh, the particular application of this could benefit your clients through the course of their retirement. Thank you, Andrew, for your time today and for sharing your insights with us. From a Zenith Research perspective, we have issued recommended ratings on the Challenger annuity product set. We believe that a key attraction of these products is the ability to customise them to different retiree scenarios, ranging from traditional term or lifetime annuities to the application of Care Plus in aged care. For viewers, this concludes our discussion on annuities today. 
As always, we hope you found this session of value. For further details on Challenger's range of annuities, visit us at zenithpartners.com.au. Thanks for watching. Thank you.